Well, it's another Tuesday night here at Earl's, and that must mean it's time for the newest edition of the Coach Harry Show here live on Thunderbirds TV and on WTOB. Welcome into the program here this evening. Brendan Riley being joined by the head coach, Steve Harrison, as well as Jan Salak, who's joining us here on his Tuesday night. Coach, thank you, you, you as always. you got a couple always. fans. Yeah. I like that. And, and then, Jan, great to have you here. Uh, you, you, ever been on, you. You, ever, you ever done a coach's show yet no, before? No, that's my first time. First one. Yeah. Wow. Whoa. I don't think we knew that when we no, were figuring we didn't it know out it was earlier the first on the weekend. So. No, but, uh, this is... This is a big event. Mm, it is. It's a big event. <laughs> I like it, though. I like it. And shaved, too? Cleaned up? Yeah, yeah I got ready. I got ready for it. <laughs> if I'd known that, I would have shaved myself. Yeah, but right. I, no, I, I, shave, I, so. you're making us look bad up here, Jan. I mean, you know what I on. forgot tonight? Sorry about that. I forgot my Hawaiian shirt. Next week I'll wear a Hawaiian next shirt. Week. Next, next week, next week, and next week we'll be at the uh, we'll be at the Crab Shack. Too. Okay, so, I'll wear so, a Hawaiian uh, shirt. So we'll week. be able to do it there. But uh, guys, thanks for uh, thanks for being on here, Coach. Great to see you as always, Jan. Thank you so much for coming on. Um, getting down to the nitty gritty here. Only seven more games remain, but uh, this team has won uh, now seven in a row and in the, on a roll here over the past few weeks. It's uh, really turned out to be trying to hit that stride at the right time. It, it's it's gone quick. I mean, uh, I remember the first night we had our coaches show here and. Uh, it doesn't seem like that long ago, and, and uh, all of a sudden, uh, uh, a lot of water has been under the bridge. Uh, as you say, we're down to the, the last, what, seven games, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, I, I think we're going in somewhat the right direction. Uh, the weekend, I, I, thought, I thought it was a pretty good weekend. You know, you get nine points. It's pretty tough to argue about getting nine points out of nine, and uh, uh, so you, you always like that. Uh, the, the, a couple of the games were good. Uh, I, I don't know if we we played well enough to win. I don't know if we played well enough to win in the playoffs on Saturday, but uh, that's something we're going to have to take care of. And uh, we had a nice little meeting after. And uh, I, I think, but for the most part, it, it was a great weekend for us. As I said, uh, we got nine points, and uh, you can never argue about that. And we'll get into those games here coming up in just a little bit. Jan, uh, you know, we've been here for quite a while. It was six, seven season now here with the Thunderbirds. Yeah, I believe so, yeah. Yeah, so uh, how has this year been for you? How, how have you been enjoying this year? I mean, a new head coach, but you've been here for a while, called this place your home. How has this season been for you? Um, I mean, I enjoy it from the beginning, you know. Um, it, it really seems like it flies by the season, but um, every single of it we enjoy. The team is really close, and I, I love it that uh, we are really close together. And, um, I mean... Hockey, that's, that's what I dream about to play, and then I still play, so it's, it's fun. This is a true hockey player. This is a guy who lives and breathes it, and 24-7. And, and, uh, 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 he take, does lessons with young kids. He, does, he, he wants to get, stay in the game. And, and here's a guy that just loves, his game, loves the game, and, and uh, it, you can't teach that. You either have that passion to stay on or whatever, and, and he has that passion, and uh, it reflects in his game. Uh, he, uh, as we've talked many times with other players, uh, he's a great player. Uh, he's a huge part of our success. And, uh, but it, it, it's, the, it's the love of the game that he has uh, that, that shines when he plays, and, and that's why he's such a good player. Well, it's ended up resulting in now 300 career regular season FPHL games. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, a, a, ma a massive accomplishment, 300 games, shows the dedication that you have to this sport, to this franchise. Um, 300 games is a big thing. What did that mean to you there on Saturday? I mean, uh, I really treat it as a, not a game. I'm prepared the same way. You know, I really didn't feel like it's something something different for me, really. It was it was just uh, another, another game to play and get ready for it. That's quite an accomplishment, 300 games. It uh, doesn't matter what level you play at. Uh, um, uh, it just shows that uh, his endurance and, 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 and everything like that. But uh, uh, and I have a lot of most of the games right here, you can tell that he loves the city. And uh, it, it's just a great compliment to him. To, as, as I said, a lot of players, when you think about it, 300 games, oh, geez, I won't take that long. It takes a long time to get to 300 games. Sometimes you get hurt or whatever. And uh, it, it's quite an accomplishment. And I think I know he had some points this year. He got a couple milestones and points also. So uh, the, 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 it's a great feat for him. Well, 300 games, you've eclipsed 300 points in your career. Also eclipsed 100 goals here as a Thunderbird, second most all time, only trailing Gus. So it's been, a, it's, been a, it's been a fun year and one filled with a lot of milestones for you. Yeah, yeah it was. It was. But what I really uh, usually care is just the team. 
team. I really de- never watched my standings or uh, you know status. It, it it it's nice to hear those things, but at the same time, I really care if uh, the team does well. And only seven games left to go until the start of the Commissioner Cup playoffs. That will start on April 19th, most likely up in Port here on a top two seed already clinched here for this Thunderbirds team. But still three more home games remaining starting with this Friday at the Fairgrounds Arena, 735 coming up against the Blue Ridge Bobcats and up in Whitfield on Saturday at 7 p.m. The final two matchups coming up here this weekend. But we're just getting started here on the Coach Harry Show here live from Rolls. Big thank you to them as well for taking us in here at the last second as well here this week. Got a great crowd on and we're just getting started here on Thunderbirds TV and on WTOB. Maple Chase Golf and Country Club offers the best in recreational amenities in the triad. Come enjoy a meal at the Pinebrook Bar and Grill, relax by our pool and cabana, and gear up at the Pro Shop while sharpening your skills on our 9,000 square foot putting green. And play around on our 18 hole Ellis Maples Design Championship Golf Course. You can find out more at MapleChaseCC.com. That's MapleChaseCC.com. For over 85 years, Mustin and Crutchfield has been more than just a local market. We've been a proud part of North Carolina's heritage. When our founders started in 1938, they sourced meats from local farmers and groceries from small companies. Finding a way to stay competitive in this market has been a challenge through the years. Luckily, there are a lot of entrepreneurs, and now we have close to 50 local vendors that we feature. We're proud to partner with the Carolina Thunderbirds as a local sponsor, celebrating community values both on and off the ice. Mustin and Crutchfield, your hometown local grocer. Here at Comtech, we think it shouldn't cost a fortune to have peace of mind. That's why we bring you the latest in smart home protection and home monitoring at prices you can afford. Already paying for home monitoring? We can beat it. Give us a call today or visit us at ctpower.com. That's ctpower.com. Comtech, your one stop for security, fire, cameras, and more. Once upon a time, not so far away, two heroes found the secret to a perfect game day. They had heard of a baker, one with big heart. They were thrilled he had the answer. Ava's Cupcakes is where he's set to start. From cakes to cookies, cupcakes, and more, we've got flavors that'll score and score. So the Thunderbirds cheered, ready to tell all. Ava's Cupcakes is the sweetest. Bakery to call. We're back here live at Earl's here on another Tuesday evening. It's the Coach Harry Show here live on Thunderbirds TV and on WTOB. Brendan Riley, the head coach Steve Harris, and Jan Salak here on your Tuesday evening. And a uh, lot to get to from last week. Three games. Uh, it started last Wednesday. Uh, they're up in Whitfield, the 11th matchup this season between uh, you guys and the Blue Ridge Bombcats. Uh, went into that game previously 10-0 uh, against them. Uh, but a team that, as we saw that previous weekend, gave, gave you guys a run there and uh, had to come from behind twice there. But then uh, on Wednesday night, things started to uh, go a little bit of a different direction there early on. Well, you know, when you play a team that much, it, it, it's really hard. And I know baseball does or not, but in hockey, uh, it, it's a tough road to beat. I don't care how, where people are in the standings. To, to beat a team uh, every time, uh, uh, you, you have to make sure you're prepared. And uh, we've snuck out a couple wins there. And so Wednesday night, I wasn't sure how we were going to come out. Uh, just another test for us. And... Uh, we didn't have a very good pregame skate, so I was a little nervous how we were going to come out, but uh, we came out on all cylinders, and, and I was really pleased. Uh, uh, the boys put their best foot forward, and uh, uh, the, the, the way we played that night, it was I think, was our best game of the weekend. And uh, as I said, uh, after Wednesday's morning skate, uh, I was a little nervous, but uh, boy, did we ever come out. Now, going into a game like that, team you've seen so many times, team that you just saw twice earlier on in that on that weekend, uh, 
message change? Is there really a message, or is it at that point, you know what they got, they know what we got, you just got to go? Well, it, it, it's about execution, and, and it's about your desire to, to, to execute the, the game and, and, and play the way we want to play. And where we're going as a team and where they're going as a team in, is basically in two different directions right now. Unfortunately, they're not going to make the playoffs, but uh, we're, we're going in a direction where uh, we want to be better. And, and as I said, uh, I think uh, the weekend before we were okay and, and did a pretty good job there coming back. But uh, as I said, we, we want to go forward all the time and uh, we're, we're looking at something different than they're looking at. And so the message was, uh, you know, we're, we're driving the bus and we're going hard at it and we're, we don't want to, uh, to let off. Well, you're able to get a one nothing lead there in the first. Austin opens the score and take that one nothing lead in the intermission. But then uh, early on in that second period, they end up getting a, uh, getting a break away and they're able to go in tie the game up there at yeah. one um, what happened there what do you see there what, what resulted there because we talk about goals beginning ends of periods they yeah. can really swing the momentum but there they, they end up getting that goal early yeah they they, uh, they they made the right play we we made the wrong play a couple guys went to one player and uh, ended up with a breakaway and, and, and unfortunately scored but uh, we responded pretty quick after that and and uh, uh, we've talked about this a million times already. It, it, it's the response that you have after a goal for or against, and uh, uh, I thought we responded very well. Well, responded then with five unanswered goals, sort of rattle them off. You had Copes, you had Schnapp, you had Gus, you had Yu Yan, as well as Copes again. But uh, responding there with five unanswered, I, I, I mean, that's a pretty big accomplishment, uh, regardless of who you're playing, regardless of what yeah. the situation is, rattle off five like that. Well, and, and that's, it's not a surprise that we can score. We, we, we got a lot of skill up front. Uh, uh, some guys don't like to shoot very often, but when they do, they <laughs> score. And uh, uh, but 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 we have a lot of skill up front, and and so it's not a surprise that when we get rolling and and, and uh, uh, move the puck and support each other, and, and when we do have a chance, shoot the puck. Uh, we we can put the puck in the net, and that night there, uh, it just seemed like when we got that second goal there, it was uh, the gates opened up and uh, we're, we were on a roll. Jan, for you, uh, that Blue Ridge team, seen them so many times. You know, you got former teammates on there and, and a few of them. Um, so playing that Blue Ridge team so many times, do you ever? How do, how do you look at that matchup? How do you look at them going into it? I mean, it seems like every single time we play them, it's a little different team. They have a little different roster. So um, I think it's really hard to come up there and really uh, not underestimate it, uh, just to be prepared for every single game really 100%. And as coach said, we um, sometimes have so many chances to shoot. And we usually going for a pass or, you know, trying to find somebody else in it, which includes me. I'm an expert on it. <laughs> <laughs> and they have changed. They've changed a lot. They, they, they've, they've, they've changed their roster, and then they've, got, they've really improved, we, as we've talked about. So uh, every, every game, it almost seems like it's it, it, like, well, yeah, we're playing Blue Ridge. That's what the, the name on the, on the jersey are. But uh, uh, when you really look at it, like uh, I think the other day there, there, there might only be two or three or four players that were there from the start. And, and so every game, is, it's kind of been a new team or, or, or that. So it's, uh, it's been a bit of a challenge. And uh, as I said, I've enjoyed it. Yeah, and for you, you ended up picking up a few goals there over that over that stretch against against Blue Ridge. Um, you talk about how you like to find passing and you like to and you like to pass, but you've shown time and time again that you can put the puck in the net. Is that just kind of how you learn the game? You're always looking to find that best pass and find that best opportunity, or, or how does it play like that? Oh, you've been me scoring goals. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it usually plays out that uh, you know I happen to be on a right spot, right moment. Um, Sometimes I, you know, there is tendencies that you try to rush things and do really, do everything really 100%. But then when you slow down a little bit and look around and find that right spot that you can be open for that another guy and Gus and and Peshti has really really nice view uh, that they can pass the puck really nice and smooth. And then for me it's just to put it in the net. You know, that's not really uh, hard. So. Well, it's, it, it, that, that's the European style, the, the Russians, the Czechs, the, 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 all the, the Finns over there, the same as the Swedes. Uh, uh, they, they play in a little bigger rink, and, and they pass a little more. And, and we're here, it's a little smaller. And, and uh, if you watch, you know, when, when I, we call it the Czech line, when the Czech line gets on there, uh, there's a lot of passing and, 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 and support. So it's just kind of the style that they have over there. And uh, sometimes 
uh, you know, you're right in front of the net and they want to pass off to the side. And sometimes the guy behind the bench gets a little excited when they do that. But uh, for the most part, as I said, like, like, it's great to watch. And, and, and the, the skill level and, and, and when you watch guys play at that, at that, at that tempo and that skill level, it, it, it's a fun game to watch. But uh, as I said, that's just the style they play over there and, and, and they brought it over here. And, and, and our game is developed like that. Uh, as I said, these guys always just like to add one extra pass sometimes. And, uh, you know, sometimes they even have an open net and they want to pass back to the other guy to put it in the empty net. And uh, as I said, that's why I have no hair right now watching these guys <laughs> do that a couple of times. But over the, over the course of the season, it's pretty nice to watch. Uh, Jan, for you, when you came over to the U.S. and you saw how the game is played here, was there that adjustment period for you? Or how did you see your game mesh in here to the type of style here in the U.S.? Um, yeah, it was it was big difference. I think from the beginning, I really didn't expect it's going to be as fast as it was. You know, smaller rink, uh, the movement, the puck movement, the everything has to the decision making had to be really uh, much faster than than in Europe. Uh, but I think uh, once uh, I gained the confidence of you know got the goal, got the assist you know you, you gain a little bit of confidence in in your hands and on your feet and then you start kind of adjusting to the game and trying to find a way to be successful and it's ended up being a long stretch of success here and, and you've been playing with yuri for for quite a while um you guys of course always for the most part on a line together what's it like being able to play with him and also just do this whole experience with him oh it's it's amazing i mean we are just uh you know, best friends and playing together, and we have av uh, like a really leverage uh, to talk in Czech language. You know, when <laughs> nobody really understands us. So when we are on the ice, we talk about you know how to pass. What what, what you know, we screaming at each other, and nobody really understands what <laughs> we're saying. Uh, so it gave, gives us a little uh, little uh, leverage. Uh, but no, it's it's fun to play with him. I love the way he he he, he sees the game. I love the way he plays it. Um, he's really hard working guy that goes both ways, up and down, and he never really leaves nothing, nothing. Uh, you know, he he goes 100 percent every game. So, and they all played well, and you know, with Panacek out there too, and now he's hurt, but uh, hopefully he'll be back. But uh, just all three of them, uh, like the. the uh, the, the confidence they have in each other and, and, and the friendship they have in each other and, and, and uh, the, they all want to be better and, and when you do that they work really hard together and uh, uh, they, they really combined and, and, and meshed really well. Well you end up going to 11-0 against this Whitfield team uh, so you pick up a 6-2 victory there on Wednesday. You gave the guys a uh, day off on, on Thursday allowed them to uh, rest and relax um, and then you had to get ready for a, uh, another two-game set, final two-game set there against that uh, Baton Rouge team that uh, you guys had seen quite a bit uh, here as of late. Yeah, I mean, it was one of those weekends, as, as we talked earlier in the show, that um, uh, we got the six points. Uh, I, I thought Friday night was okay. Uh, Saturday, we just, we didn't play, I think, we, we played well enough to win. And we didn't play to our capabilities of of. Uh, of and, and, and it's hard when you play a team that many times, and it's only human nature, but it's my job to, you know, uh, you know get these guys going sometimes. And, and uh, uh, as I said, I, I think on, you know, Friday to Saturday there, we just we played well enough to win. But I think in our hearts and in our minds, we know that, that we can give more. And, and uh, uh, I, I'm expecting that this weekend. Well, should expect that coming up here. Don't forget, 735 on Friday. That's at the... Fairgrounds Arena now, and then it'll be 7.05 or 7 o'clock coming up on Saturday. Up in Blue Ridge, don't forget, if you are a season ticket holder and you haven't already, you have until April 4th to be able to sign up and uh, get your season, uh, get your playoff tickets if you're a season holder. Single game playoff tickets are set to go on sale on April 8th as of right now, but season ticket holders have until the 4th. That QR code that you saw over the weekend on Thunderbird TV, I'll be back up here, come back up on the broadcast coming up this weekend as well. You can scan that be able to get your seat, your playoff tickets there, season ticket holder, but then uh, single game playoff tickets go on sale on the 8th. Playoffs coming right around the corner starting April 19th on the road, and then it'll be the 20th on, at home and the 21st if necessary. But we got to run to an, a, another time out here on the Coach Harry Show here live at Earl's on another Tuesday night. The head coach Steve Harrison, Jan Salak with us here. Back with more after this here on Thunderbirds TV and on WTOB. Welcome to Martin.
Martinsville. Martinsville isn't your average everyday racetrack. Far from it. It's truly one of a kind. The speed, the shape, the history, the hospitality, and heck, even the hot dogs. A one of a kind weekend at the short track of NASCAR with trucks on Friday, Xfinity on Saturday, and Cup Series on Sunday. It's one event too amazing to miss. NASCAR weekend at Martinsville Speedway. Get your tickets now at martinsvillespeedway.com. Hey there, Triad Thunderbirds fans. Introducing Tee It Up Indoors, your ultimate golfing destination in Greensboro. With our cutting edge golf simulators, you can tee off on world-class courses, no matter the weather. We're not just a golf facility. We're your partner in having a fantastic time. From golf lessons to corporate events, we've got it all covered. Plus, we even host birthday parties. Tee it up indoors, where golf meets excitement. Contact us today and swing into action. When it comes to performance, speed matters, just like on the ice. Introducing Same Day Dental Crowns, right here at Twin Oaks Dentistry. With cutting edge technology, we craft crowns on site, eliminating the need for temporary. As proud sponsors of the Carolina Thunderbirds, we understand the need for top notch performance. We're more than just dental care, we're your partners in achieving your best smile. Twin Oaks Dentistry, where tech. Finish strong. Start here. Atrium Health Wake Forest Baptist. Back here on Thunderbirds TV and on WTOB, we're live here at Earl's on a Tuesday evening. It's the Coach Harry Show here live from Earl's. Friend Riley, the head coach, Steve Harrison, and Jan Salak here on your Tuesday evening. We just uh, got into last Wednesday up in Withville, and now started to get to it there uh, right before we had to run into a timeout. Uh, final matchup uh, matchups with Baton Rouge here this past weekend. Uh, get to be back home as well. It seems like uh, here as of late, there haven't been too many too many games at home. It's, and it's not like there's been long road trips. I haven't really been on one for a little bit, but uh, a lot of games up in with Philly. Played down in Columbus. Uh, but yeah. uh, but I uh, got to be back home for a full weekend and uh, just be back home in front of the fans. Well, it's kind of nice, you know. We, we always enjoy at the uh, at the fairgrounds arena, arena I guess. Yep. <laughs> and uh, uh, with the crowd and, and the emotion there and all that, it, it's just a fun place to play. And uh, uh, as I said, it, it hasn't changed from day one and we don't expect it to change now. And so uh, the guys look forward. We, we like playing on the road, but I think we love playing at home. And, and uh, uh, so that's a tribute to the fans and a tribute to uh, you know the, 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 the noise and, and everything that they bring to us and the energy that they bring to us. So it, it's always a fun place to play. Oh, yeah, it took a little getting used to there on the, uh, on the broadcast, calling it the, uh, <laughs> calling it the arena instead of right. the annex. Might have been a few slip-ups over the weekend. But, uh, but, it, but at home this year, you, you guys had dominated Baton Rouge. Um, out, we're out scoring them 22-2 to two heading into the weekend with a couple of shutouts thrown in there as well. Um, you know, you guys go down to Baton Rouge, the travel stuff happens, uh, and, but at home against Baton Rouge, you guys have been so solid this year. Yeah, you know, it's too bad that we had that, uh, that I don't know, blimp, I guess, in, in, in the schedule there when we went to Baton Rouge, because it just was, it started off bad and it ended bad, and, and so uh, uh, I'd love to go down there and, and uh, have everything kind of go right and, and, and see what would have happened. But no, at home, we, we played very well against them. Uh, uh, even if we haven't played as well as I would like to have, you know, when we win 4 nothing on Friday night, uh, it doesn't matter what level of, of, of sports that you play on. When you, when, you, when you put up that goose egg uh, against the team, uh, it, it, it's an accomplishment. And, and it's not just the accomplishment to the goalie. Uh, I, I thought uh, uh, Carps played well, but, but 
he, he actually he made probably four or five saves that, that could have changed the game. But uh, overall, we played very well. The guys played well in front of them. And as I said, whenever you do that, it, it's a great accomplishment. Well, it started out, and, and they kind of came out on the front foot a little bit. They were getting some uh, good opportunities yeah. right around right around the crease. Um, but Carbs had to make some big saves, and he did. Uh, and then uh, you're able to you're able to slow that down, and then you get towards the final stretch there in that first period. It ends up being a Gus that, that makes it a one nothing game, but there again, it's another goal uh, at the end of a period yeah. that ends up swinging things kind of the rest of the way. Well, I, I think we had a few chances early on too. We we didn't score, but you know what? The, the one thing you just mentioned about Carps uh, making some big saves, and you know, right right from day one with Mario and and Carps and and and, and uh, uh, all our goalies this year, uh, they've always given us a chance to win, and they've given us an opportunity not to get behind. So our goaltending has been stellar this year. Uh, as I said, all the guys that have played. Uh, as I said, Mario and Carps, and, and right now, and uh, when they make those saves, that, that you can feel everybody confident that you know we're going to score sometime. And, and uh, as I said, we scored at the end of the period there, and I, I think that might have broke their back a little bit. And then it ends up rolling right over into that second period. It was James Farmer who was just on the show last week. Then ended yeah. up getting his uh, his first goal of his FPHL career. I mean, uh, Jan, I'll throw this over to you. Um, you know. Dear guy that has a lot of goals, but uh, do you still remember that first one that you had? Yeah, I, I kind of do. I mean, you, you, you don't really forget things like that. He might have scored it against me because I was coaching against him uh, really? at that time. So yeah. he might have got yeah. it against Danville. I'm not really sure. Yeah, yeah. Did you get it against us? I'm not sure. It's, it's possible. No, oh, yeah, no, no. It's yeah. possible. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. I, we gave up one to him anyway. So. <laughs> but I, I believe it was a tip. So oh. it was a really pretty goal. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, uh, yeah but, but, I mean, Farmer gets his first one there, uh, you know. Finally, you know, uh, well, that's a monkey off, off your back. back. Yeah. It doesn't matter if you're a defenseman or, or a stay-at-home defenseman or whatever. And you know, he's had some opportunities and hasn't scored. And uh, even if you're not an offensive defenseman, you, you like to get that that goose egg off the when you look at the stats. And 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 everybody looks at stats. And you just you know, he's played. Uh, you know, we're in the game. I'm not sure how many he's played because he he left for a little bit. But. Um, you just don't like that goose egg there, and, and uh, uh, good for him that he got that off this year. And it made it two to nothing. Carbs have made 18 saves going into that third period. Have a two nothing lead like that. Um, did you say anything to your team there in the in, in the dressing room? Or what, what were your thoughts there over those first? Well, 40 the, 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 those are this is a learning lesson for us, and 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 how to you know when we get in three more weeks where you know you're up two nothing, uh, you got to shut the door. And, and uh, hopefully you can score more, and, and, and I think we can, but we, gotta, we don't change. And, and uh, it, it was a test for us to, 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 uh, to see what we could do, and uh, we came out. And it, you could tell even the guys on the bench were, were talking about back check and talking about you know, getting the puck out of our zone and, and, and doing things the right way uh, to finish it off. And, uh, uh, th it, Again, the guys realize that it doesn't happen very often getting a shutout, and I know that they wanted to push, especially right near the end, the last four or five minutes, about finishing it off right, and they did. Well, they did indeed, and they ended up putting up two more in that third period as well. Kramer, he got a deflection that made it three, and then uh, Baker on the power play uh, makes it four nothing. And, and after that, you guys kind of roll there to that victory. Uh, Jan, for you, you're on that first unit for the power play um, out there with. Most, most of the time, Copes, Pesty, as well as Gus and Dawson. What's that power play uh, for you? How do you enjoy being on that power play with those guys? Oh, I, I love it. Everybody that, uh, that uh, is on that power play uh, likes to think about hockey. We talk about situations. We try to create the best option for, for ourselves to score goals and, and be, be really uh, successful with, uh, with the power play. And I love being, being with all of them. They are great hockey players. And it's worked out pretty well. I mean, you, most of the time, it seems like you guys go on the power play, you know, a couple times a game, you always end up finding one in the back of the net. How much emphasis and practice are you putting on special teams? Well, we do. And, you know, the coach looks good when he can put five guys out like I put out. And even our second unit now, like, you know, we, we can put out uh, another five guys. But our, our, our one unit there is, is – is, uh, uh, and we've switched around, you know, when Panny was here or Copes or, or – uh, Kramer or whatever, and, and as I said, with the, with the with the guys who have been there most of the time, so uh, the, the coach looks pretty good some nights when uh, you know, the, but with their skill level and, and uh, but we, we we push it. We every week we work on it and. Uh, 
uh, as, as you said, it's, it's pretty nice. Uh, sometimes they want to be a little too pretty. Uh, and, and when you get into a game, sometimes, you know, you just want to shoot once in a while. But, but for the most part, it's, it's their skill level, it's their hockey mentality, and, and their intellect that, uh, that, that, runs, that runs the power play. And as I said, some nights, uh, Coach looks pretty good when he's on the bench and they, they go tic-tac-toe and it's in the net. So, uh, but it's, it's a credit to those guys. And it ended up being a 4 nothing shutout victory. It was the second straight shutout at home that's the first time having consecutive shutouts at home since December 14th and 15th in 2018 for this Thunderbirds yeah. organization did one against Elmira yeah it's been a while but yeah, yeah. Um, I had to go deep into the archives to find that one but uh, you end up going in tonight too and uh, and so you already had taken uh, a 4 nothing shutout victory you go in there to game two and they end up coming out and kind of um, getting there getting the early strike there end up with a with a quick goal there early on in that in that first period and um, much again they came out well there on Friday and they do it again there on Saturday yeah and they, and they capitalized on it and uh, I, I just think that we uh, I don't know if it was the time change in the game or, or not yeah. and uh, uh, you know again w w and I hate to keep harping on it but you know you played them 11 times we played them I don't know how many times in the last 12 games or you know a lot of games and, and so it was just, I, I think we thought it was going to be one of those games where, yeah, we're going to score first and kind of get the ball rolling. And uh, th that team there, they, 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 they work hard. And, and uh, are they as skilled as us? No, but uh, they work hard. And uh, as I said, they capitalized on something and kind of put us uh, our, our, uh, on our heels there a little bit. And uh, we had to fight through it. No, I completely forgot that the, uh, the power had gone out. Yeah. I completely forgotten about that until right then. Um, the power went out all right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, got, got a little dicey there for yeah, me. Yeah, it got <laughs> so. but, uh, but you guys go down one nothing and uh, you know, their their netminder was playing well. Give Moriarty credit. I mean, there's a couple opportunities there for Dawson and Gus yeah. there on a, on a couple odd man rushes, but he ended up keeping out. So you go into the first intermission trailing one to nothing. Um, but, you know, what, what, what was that? What, what was the locker room like there in that first interview? Did you guys know well, that there was something coming, or, or, or was it uh, well, a little well, more pressure? I, I, I think everybody kind of knew, and, and I went in the room and I just said, guys, it, it, it's got to come from within, and and uh, we got to pull this out, and and it's, it, each guy's got to dig in and uh, come together, and. Uh, 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 some nights you don't really have to say a whole lot. I think they could tell probably in my uh, tone of voice or demeanor, I guess, that, that uh, I wasn't um, uh, throwing the pom-poms up at the time. But they had to, they had to come together and, 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 and come from within themselves uh, to pull it out. And so it was up to them tonight. And uh, I didn't really have to say a whole lot. Uh, as I said, I, I think they understood the message in, in a couple words. Yeah, and you, you you understand the message there? Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I do. <laughs> he, I think he got the message there. They got the message. They well, the well message. it looked like it did because then 25 seconds into that second period, ended up tying up there yeah. on the on the power play. Um, shot from the point from Gus, spanked it off the end boards, and then boom, Dawson there, just wide open down the far right. side. Um, so you tie it up there, and then uh, and then it just kind of felt like there was just waiting for the for the levy, the floodgates to kind of start opening, and then Jan, you end up picking up the. The assist there on the what ended up, ended up being the go-ahead goal. Uh, you guys were able to force a turnover there in the attacking zone, and then uh, you and Kramer just playing a little pitch and catch to uh, make it a two-one game. Yeah, um, no, the, the situation really uh, came from uh, Schnapper that he was attacking their defenseman and put him then uh, up under a pressure, and then they had to throw the puck away because you know uh, they had nowhere to go and the pass was bad and just bounced off the skate of uh, the player right to my stick and I saw that I have opportunities to shoot but then I saw Kramer in best, better position and I know that he can execute it so I just pass it as fast as I could and, and then it, so. That's, that's one of those plays where uh, uh, from their standpoint and from the fan standpoint it was an awesome goal and, and probably you know if, if our games were on ESPN they, they, that'd be a highlight goal but uh, 
we came off the bench and uh, when he came back to the bench I said I'm glad you scored because I probably would have you know with Higgins shooting and, and the, the opportunity to shoot but he made a fantastic play and uh, uh, you can't argue with that and it's, 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 it's actually it's, it's nice to be behind the bench and on one hand I was going like this and on the other hand I was going like this so I don't <laughs> <laughs> but uh, great play great play and, and uh, Kramer finished it off and then he just kind of rolled from there you get another one there three consecutive there in that second period and then uh, Schnapp ends up getting another uh, great goal here this season on that shot that just dropped right in the crease and he had right. to reach around the net miner to finish it off but uh, you guys end up taking it 4-2 there on uh, Saturday night and uh, as we talked about at the top of the show uh, nine, 9 out of 9 and uh, yeah. You know, but it, it seems like there was still some stuff that uh, that you want to see improved going forward. Well, I, I just I think Saturday night we just we it was like we want to just play well enough to win and get out and and uh, uh, and I understand from their standpoint and, and some nights it's like that, but it's my job to push them a little harder. And as I said, uh, uh, I wasn't. Uh, uh, I, I wasn't disappointed, but I wasn't overjoyed about the game on Saturday. I, I just, I know we can play better. And uh, as I said, uh, uh, when I look on the game sheet and it says coach, coach is supposed to push these guys to be the best they can be every night. And as I said, I, I think we were good, but we weren't the best. And, and uh, uh, we talked about it. And uh, as I said, but you, you, when you play 56 games or other sports play, uh, you know, basketball plays 80 other it's hockey 80 game there's going to be nights like that and so you you, you uh, the first thing I said is you, we grabbed the three points that's why we were here and and was it pretty no but and, and as long as we understand and we learn something from it then then I think we did and uh, uh, we move on Move on and moving on here this weekend with Blue Ridge coming to town on Friday, then up in Withville on Saturday. We got to run to another timeout here on the Coach Harry Show. If you haven't already, though, make sure to go check out the newest episode of After Hours, the Carolina Thunderbirds podcast. We had. Uh, Tucker Firth, Justin Bioni, as well as Roman Kramer on. It was a, it was a fun conversation, fun hour or so uh, last week. Got a new episode coming out here this week as well. of Josh Kevlinger and Mario Cavalieri on the show uh, coming up here, recording that one tomorrow. So hopefully it'll be out by the weekend. But we got to run to a timeout here on the Coach Harry Show. here live on Thunderbirds TV and on WTOB. My name is Melissa Pilson and I'm with Brianna Phillips. We're the proud owners of the Pet Barn. We've been in business for over 22 years. We offer boarding, grooming, and daycare. You can find us at 7844 Blues Creek Road. Message us on Messenger, Facebook, or contact us 336-451-7508. We are also proud sponsors of the Thunderbirds. What's the word? Thunderbirds! For over 85 years, Mustin and Crutchfield has been more than just a local market. We've been a proud part of North Carolina's heritage. When our founders started in 1938, they sourced meats from local farmers and groceries from small companies. Finding a way to stay competitive in this market has been a challenge through the years. Luckily, there are a lot of entrepreneurs, and now we have close to 50 local vendors that we feature. We're proud to partner with the Carolina Thunderbirds as a local sponsor, celebrating community values both on and off the ice. Mustin and Crutchfield, your hometown local grocer. Mabel Chase Golf and Country Club offers the best in recreational amenities in the triad. Come enjoy a meal at the Pine Brook Bar and Grill, relax by our pool in Cabana, and gear up at the Pro Shop while sharpening your skills on our 9,000 square foot putting green. And play around on our 18 hole Ellis Maples Design Championship Golf Course. You can find out more at MapleChaseCC.com. That's MapleChaseCC.com. Here at Comtech, we think it shouldn't cost a fortune to have peace of mind. That's why we bring you the latest in smart home protection and home monitoring at prices you can afford. Already paying for home monitoring? We can beat it. Give us a call today or visit us at ctpower.com. That's ctpower.com. Comtech, your one-stop for security, fire, cameras, and more. Once upon a time, not so far away, two heroes found the secret to a perfect game day. 
They had heard of a baker, one with big heart. They were thrilled he had the answer. Ava's Cupcakes is where he's set to start. From cakes to cookies, cupcakes, and more, we've got flavors that'll score and score. So the Thunderbirds cheered, ready to tell all. Ava's Cupcakes is the sweetest. Bakery to call. We're back here on the Coach Harry Show. It's another Tuesday night here at Earl's. Brent and I, the head coach, Steve Harrison, and Jan Salak here on Thunderbirds TV and on WTOB. Um, guys, got about 20 minutes or so left in our program here this evening. And uh, Jan, for you, first time uh, coming here on a, on a coach's show, as you said at the top. Um, so, you know, a few questions for you. Got some questions from the, uh, from the crowd as well. Sure. But... Uh, but, but for you, you've been here for six, seven seasons. You, you've ended up coming here, you've ended up setting up, setting up shop here, setting up some roots. What is it about this place that uh, you love so much that uh, you now are, have been here for a while? Uh, I mean, it's, it's all about the people around here, uh, the fans. And uh, of course, you know, when I, when I came here and really had nothing and a lot of uh, people uh, helped me out and really um, tried, to, tried to help me to find my way around here. And so it started with Karen and Harriet that really take care of me uh, at the beginning. And now, you know, there is a uh, there is special, special person here, uh, my girlfriend, Abby, and, and her family <laughs> that came. It's, it's, it's all about the people that you're around, I think, in North Carolina. I mean, it's a beautiful city. It's a beautiful town. And I'm enjoying it. When you, when you when you come to a new country and or new you know new place and, you, and you, you're from you know overseas or like I played overseas myself and uh, it, 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 it's hard and, and, and it's the people you meet as you go along and, and uh, uh, you know you, you ask one of these any of these guys that are, that have been here as long as he's been here and uh, uh, it, it's the people and and uh, you know boots and, and pesty and uh, uh, panny the, all these guys have stayed here Copelinger now is staying here uh, it, it's the people here that uh, uh, it, for you know nice weather you can golf you can do a lot of things but it's, it's the people that you, that makes you stay around and I remember going to uh, going to Europe and even to this day we still talk to some people uh, that were really nice to us and so it, it, it's really nice to, to, to you know wake up some mornings and know you that, that you you had some friendship here and as I said the, the fans have been great to us I have, and Jan, for you, you've been here since the beginning, really, of this Thunderbirds organization. I mean, you're going to end up going down as one of the top players in franchise history when it's all said and done. I mean, you've been here for so long. What is it about the Thunderbirds that has made you want to keep playing for this organization? I don't know. I think it's the mentality that everybody has when they come here. It's just really um, to go and push themselves to be the best as a as a hockey player, as a coach, as a, a even the office, even even the owners. They trying to improve every single every single year, and I really love that mentality to uh, really moving things forward. And now with your career, you've also been able to make some good connections when it comes to getting out into the community. And, you, and you've been trying so hard to do that. You're doing the Thursday Learn to Play every week and, uh, you know, helping teach kids. You and you and Pesty, you guys do stuff over in Greensboro all the time. And now you even have something coming up here uh, here this summer as well, a, a Thunderbird summer camp. Yes, yes, that's correct. Uh, so, yeah, we, me and Pesty, we were talking about, uh, you know, trying to do uh, something for, for, for the players that they wanted to play in North Carolina. And I, I think that uh, the, the youth hockey program uh, needs, to, needs to really um, improve uh, and, and be better for the, for the kids. And so that's what we're trying to help out. And, uh, and uh, yeah, we're we starting to do uh, like a little camps on Thursdays that uh, coach, uh, coach and uh, Achilles are up there too, uh, uh, working and trying to help every single one of them uh, to improve their hockey skills and uh, to be able to achieve their goals. And uh, as well now we are planning of having a camp as a Carolina Thunderbirds camp on uh, August uh, every single weekend uh, of uh, August. So yeah, we are really excited about everything. We are very patient about, passionate about it and really we enjoy every single kid that, that having a improvement that's really rewarding for us. So you, you, you got to give these guys a lot of credit. These guys, and, and I talk about this a lot, is, is it's not a Barry Soskin team or Kerry Ross's team. It, it, this is Winston-Salem. 
and, and the players like him and, and Pesty and uh, Copelinger and, and Boots and the guys who are staying here all the time, but then even the players that are here during the season, they bought into Winston-Salem. And, and so, and they're trying to make it better. We, we, and I, uh, uh, I don't want to pat in the back, but we just did a, a charity thing for the police today. We're, we're, we've done other stuff like this, and we, we bought into the community. And as I said, this is, uh, we're, this is a Winston-Salem team. This is not a, uh, the who ownership, and God bless them, they, they do a fantastic job. But uh, we bought into the community, and these guys have done a great job, and they're trying to make the kids better. They do a fantastic job when they're coaching. Uh, it's the one time that he can actually say that he's, uh, I'm his, he's my boss, because he's running it. Uh, but we won't go into that right now. But, but they do a fantastic job with the kids, and, and, and the kids improve. And uh, as I said, it, it's, uh, it's great. Uh, uh, and I know they're trying to get to something after hockey too, but as I said, just, just the way that everybody's bought into the community here has been really well, good. And as I said, uh, he's a big part of it. And there will be more information about the Thunderbird summer camp coming out tomorrow on Thunderbird social media, uh, being ran by uh, Jan and Yuri there. Um, so make sure to keep your eyes peeled for that. Uh, coming I'm, up tomorrow. I'm coming back as a co-boss. I'm not coming back just as a... <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, Jan, we got some uh, questions uh, for the crowd from the crowd here. A couple uh, lighthearted questions for you. Um, one, one starting off... Uh, Game day, you know, you get to the rink, you know, is, you got any superstitions that, that you have, the, anything you, you got to make sure you do before you, uh, you get out there on the ice? Um, not, not really. No, I'm not really a superstitious guy. I don't really. Um, I changing songs every single time that I come to the rink. I don't listen to music when I'm, when I'm, I'm Bioni is the DJ and I like <laughs> the, the, the way he, he he's plays the song. So I, I, I enjoy the, the, the music in the locker room. But usually I feel like I need to I need to move a little bit more, so I, I I do a little more stretching or you know when I feel like I'm pretty warm up I, I I usually rest and just talk and try to get in a in a space and you know talk to the guys and feel feel comfortable. What, what, what was that? You made you made espresso there on on Saturday. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah th there is actually one. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. Me and Pesti we usually make uh, espresso before every game. Uh, we just drink it together and then we go do our things. You know, warm up and yeah. But espresso was a uh, yeah one of those things. Yeah, no, I, 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 you, you, you made one for me there on, on Saturday. Very very good. Very oh, yeah. good. Yeah. Oh, so you no, liked it? I yeah. did. I did. I, th I think that might have to become a more <laughs> regular thing. Yeah, they got, they, you got to have the espresso. You can't have the coach's coffee. That's not good enough. You have to have that espresso. So, oh yeah, we had to have a, an espresso machine, uh, but just for them. But that's okay. <laughs> um, played against a lot of teams in your career. Um, now looking at this season, you know some new organizations, ones that you've played for a while. Do you have a favorite team that you play against? Uh, Columbus. Definitely Columbus is just a rivalry, you know, that I have, um, you know, there's a lot of teammates that uh, we used to play together and now, you know, now uh, it's like, uh, you know, you wanted to beat them, you wanted to win against those guys and it's actually really good hockey. On the other so. side of that, do you have a team you do not like playing against? Um, I would say the Adam Rouge would be one of them. It just, you know, I, I don't know what it is about, but. <laughs> See, well, that, that's, that's a credit to them. Like, uh, and probably you've asked that question to a few guys, and, and most guys say Columbus. And you would think, you know, geez, you, you like to play some team that, you know, I, I scored four goals against or whatever. But these guys want to play against the other team, the other best teams in our league. And, and, and that's, that's why they're here. That's why, that's why I, I, we've got a team where like we are is because they, they don't want to play. They want to play against the best teams all the time. And uh, that's a credit to them that they want to actually play that. Now this question, this next question, and we'll have to run into the timeout after, but uh, this question has been asked by, uh, to every person that's come on the show here over the past, let me say, two months? Oh, yeah, Two easy, months or so? Easy. Um, on the road, who would you least want to room with? Hmm. Oh, that's a tough question. Uh, hmm. I would say Schnapper. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, we're perfect. We're perfect. That's eight, like eight, eight that's like eight? nine and eight, yeah, for eight, eight, for eight, eight or eight or nine and nine, nine, nine yeah. whatever it is. That, yeah, we're perfect. Yeah. Uh, that's over. Uh, that's, uh, it's almost half. So it's almost a consensus yeah. at this point. But uh, yeah. but uh, yeah. So so I mean, let's tally that one up and, uh, and and we can go from there. But.
but we have to run into another timeout here on the Coach Harry's show. Getting ready to wrap this program up here in just a little bit. Live at Earl's here on a Tuesday night at Coach Steve Harris and Jan Salak, Brendan Riley here on Thunderbirds TV and on WTOB. We're back with more after this here on the Coach Harry Show. Welcome to Martinsville. Martinsville isn't your average everyday racetrack. Far from it. It's truly one of a kind. The speed, the shape, the history, the hospitality, heck, even the hot dogs. A one-of-a-kind weekend at the short track of NASCAR with trucks on Friday, Xfinity on Saturday, and Cup Series on Sunday. It's one event too amazing to miss. NASCAR weekend at Martinsville Speedway. Get your tickets now at martinsvillespeedway.com. I want Huey to live a long, happy life. I give him supplements to take care of his joints. He's on preventatives to keep the fleas and ticks away. It's the same with my Subaru Outback. It takes care of us every day and when we go on adventures. We get our Outback serviced by the experts at Flow Subaru of Winston-Salem. I love my Subaru and I know it will live a long and happy life if I treat it right, just like Huey. When it comes to performance, speed matters, just like on the ice. Introducing Same Day Dental Crowns right here at Twin Oaks Dentistry. With cutting edge technology, we craft crowns on site, eliminating the need for temporary. As proud sponsors of the Carolina Thunderbirds, we understand the need for top notch performance. We're more than just dental care. We're your partners in achieving your best smile. Twin Oaks Dentistry, we're taking Finish strong. Start here. Atrium Health Wake Forest Baptist. Riddle Tractor has been selling and servicing tractors, mowers, and more for over 43 years. We stock over 50,000 parts and we service what we sell. Visit us at RiddleTractor.com. That's RiddleTractor.com. Equipping those who get the job done. Back here at Earl's, we've got about nine minutes left to go in our program here this evening. It's the Coach Airy Show here on Thunderbirds TV and on WTOB. Uh, well, now just got two more segments left to go here tonight. Coach, there are some uh, questions for, for you on here from the crowd. Uh, first one, uh, any favorite travel stories here from this year? Well, I think, I think when you go through some of the things that we went through, uh, when the bus broke down. Uh, at the time, I, I think we, the closeness that the team has during those times, I, I, that's, to me, that's what it's about. And, and, and the, with the travel with the team. And, uh, you know, do the guys get a little crazy on the bus sometimes? Yeah, but I, I think sometimes, like that time we were in, uh, in um, uh, Tim Horton's Donuts there for seven hours. <laughs> like, um, you know, just talking to the guys and, and the guys talking to each other and they're all having fun and uh, even through a tough time, it's just it's nice to see that uh, the, the team together and uh, uh, as, as I said I, that, that's why I think we're, 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 we're going to be really strong down the end because uh, the way this team is uh, as, as a group and now uh, it's turned into, you got Whitfield coming up here this weekend. You got final two games here uh, against them this season, uh, Friday at home, Saturday uh, up in Whitfield. Uh, one of the questions right now coming down the line is, uh, will, will the check line be fully back together with the uh, status of Peter and, uh, and uh, Yuri? Well, they, they won't be together this weekend. Uh, as we only have one. And uh, uh, I don't think Pesty's going to play this weekend. And uh, Panny, Panny is going to be uh, right near the playoffs or the last weekend of the season. And uh, uh, that's what we're kind of looking at right for him. And Pesty is probably uh, not this weekend, but uh, probably the next weekend. So uh, when, when they get back together, yeah, we'll probably put them together. Uh, sometimes it, it's nice to, uh, even for them to, to uh, you know, the one night there uh, I, I changed things up and uh, all of a sudden uh, 
I, I, you know, uh, I think I put Copes down and, and, and or not down, but I, you know, I changed a couple guys around, and both team, both lines flourished. So sometimes it's good just to, to to mix it up and give these guys some something different to look at. Sometimes after you know every practice, you go out and, and it's the same guys, and every and, and I know they love playing together. And uh, as I said, we'll, we'll you know. I'd be a little crazy not to try and start them off that way, but uh, uh, as games go on and, and, and playoffs are a situation where, uh, you know, if I'm playing against them and I'm playing against the forward line, uh, I'm trying to match lines. And, and, and uh, uh, so, so we, we might have to change some things up just to, 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 to uh, fool the other team, I guess. I don't know if that's the word, but uh, to, to, to give us a little different flavor every once in a while. So, But for the most part, uh, you know, if all three of them are healthy, then uh, they're going to be together. Yeah, and only seven games remain here in this regular season, and, it, and it's uh, playoff time. How excited for you, or how excited are you for this final stretch here coming up? Oh, I'm really excited. I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to it. Now we're treating uh, every game as a, as a playoff game, kind of preparation for, for the final run that we're going to have. And then, uh, you know, um, I mean, every game is important for us. So, yeah, I'm, ex I'm excited. Well, and, and, and we're geared for that. that we're, we're geared for the playoffs. And, and last year, you know, they went, uh, uh, you know, right down to the wire. Uh, they won it, uh, what, four years ago, five years ago, or six, whenever they first moved here. Yeah. They won it there. Uh, you know, guys like Pesty and Sally, uh, I hate to bring this up, but they were in the finals uh, uh, when they were in Berlin. <laughs> Didn't have the success they were hoping for, but I thought I'd bring that up tonight. But uh, just I, I like to rub that in every once in a while. But but that, that's what we're geared for. That's what these guys are gearing for. Uh, they want to have a great season, obviously, but uh, they want to be uh, they want to be happy at the end of the year, and that's what these guys are. are all, I, I can tell that they're 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 waiting for that. Um, uh, sometimes maybe. Uh, a step ahead of what they should be, but but uh, that's where they're looking for. 2017 FBHL champions, the uh, Danville yeah, Dashers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry, I brought that up again. Yeah. <laughs> you said that you're not, not going to brought it up. It no, was, I wasn't going to bring it up, but I, I had to bring it up for you tonight. <laughs> Well, we got to run to our final timeout of the evening. Don't forget that season ticket holders, you can get your tickets up until April 4th. Single game tickets for the playoffs go available on April 8th. As playoffs are right around the corner, start on April 19th. Still seven more to go until we get there. Got to run to our final timeout of the evening here on the Coach Harry Show here on Thunderbirds TV and on WTOV. Get ready, Winston Sale. Jennifer Sapp, your trusted realtor and broker since 1997 puts the real in Realtor, and she's proud to be a sponsor of your Carolina Thunderbirds. As a top producer and your go-to realtor for all your real estate needs, Jennifer Sapp is ready to help you score your dream home goal. Call Jennifer at 336-782-3148 or visit her at jennifersapp.allenton.com. Welcome to Martinsville. Martinsville isn't your average everyday racetrack. Far from it. It's truly one of a kind. The speed, the shape, the history, the hospitality, heck, even the hot dogs. A one of a kind weekend at the short track of NASCAR with trucks on Friday, Xfinity on Saturday, and Cup Series on Sunday. It's one event too amazing to miss. NASCAR weekend at Martinsville Speedway. Get your tickets now at martinsvillespeedway.com. Once upon a time, not so far away, two heroes found the secret to a perfect game day. They had heard of a baker, one with big heart. They were thrilled he had the answer. Ava's Cupcakes is where he's set to start. From cakes to cookies, cupcakes, and more, we've got flavors that'll score and score. So the Thunderbirds cheered, ready to tell all. Ava's Cupcakes is the sweetest. Bakery to call. For over 85 years, Mustin and Crutchfield has been more than just a local market. We've been a proud part of North Carolina's heritage. When our founders started in 1938, they sourced meats from local farmers and groceries from small companies. Finding a way to stay competitive in this market has been a challenge through the years. Luckily, there are a lot of entrepreneurs, and now we have close to 50 local vendors that we feature. We're proud to partner with the Carolina Thunderbirds as a local sponsor, celebrating community values both on and off the ice.
Mustin and Crutchfield, your hometown local grocer. Back here, ready to close up the Coach Harry Show here live from Earl's on a Tuesday evening here on Thunderbirds TV and on WTOB. A big thank you to Earl's and everyone working here, to, uh, taking us in here kind of at the last moment um, here on this Tuesday evening. So a big thank you uh, to, to Earl's for, for taking us in here for the second straight week. Guys, uh, it's been fun here tonight. Coach, thank you, thank you as always. Jan, first show uh, in the books. Uh, what would you think of it? I loved it. It was fun. It was fun. <laughs> Did a great job. Yeah. Did a great job. Well, uh, Blue Ridge this weekend, seven games left. Any uh, final comments here? Well, I, I, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, that, that team there, uh, what's our record against them now? 11. 11 and 0. And, and so they're going to want to put a blemish on that. And, and so they're going to come out full speed ahead. And uh, we're going to have to come out and have some fun with it. And uh, uh, as I said, uh, I thought practice was great today. And so I I'm looking forward to the weekend here. It, it should be a fun weekend and how we respond and uh, uh, take that next step. Well, it should be fun coming up here. 735 on Friday at the Fairgrounds Arena. Then 7 o'clock up in Whitfield on Saturday. Final two matches between Carolina and Blue Ridge. Guys, thank you so much for coming on here thank today. You. Thank you to everyone thank for coming for fans, out yep. as well. A great crowd on hand here. <laughs> And that'll do it for the Coach Harry Show. Thanks here for Earls Tuesday. again. Yeah, the, 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 again all the great Earls. hospitality here. Every time we come here, that's great hospitality. So it's a great place. Always love coming here. And that'll do it for the Coach Harry Show here on another Tuesday evening. This has been the Coach Harry Show here on Thunderbirds TV and on WTOB.